Johnny guys, and today we have some somber news as one of the longest running FPV shops, FPV Flight Club, is closing. They announced um, yesterday that they're closing up their shop. This is what was posted if you go to their website right now. Uh, just saying the time has come to move on. FPV Flight Club started six years ago as a passion for drones, really an obsession. I love building, flying, learning, and teaching everything about drones. I knew how confusing it could be. It goes on to say that anyone who's ever mixed passion and business knows it's not always a good mix. Um, and that's basically lack of time, the countless tasks a one person business to get, um, to get everything done is just burned me out. The passion is gone. In the past year, I've only flown once and it's time to move on. And just wanted to say thank you. There, It goes on, I'll put the rest of the thing on the screen if you want to read it. Um, he says he's not sure what he's going to do with the website or the YouTube channel, but he'll keep it up for now. He's going to move on to other ventures. We all want to wish Mike um, the best of luck in any of his future endeavors. Um, he is closing everything that's left out on the store for 50%. I'll put a link into that shop so you can help him get that all closed out. Um, I just want to personally say that when I started racing, I've been flying FPV for over a year, but when I first started racing and getting into that world, probably early 2017, the hottest racing frame on the market was the Tokyo X that he designed. If you ever used to watch Envy Astro and said Hindo, that was the frame that those guys used to fly. I remember when uh, one of our chapter heads, Miguel, mentioned that he had a Tokyo. I was like, what? Can you bring it? Like, can I see it? And I was curious why he didn't fly. He said it was too fast, too fast. And it just like the myth of this craft just grew in my mind. Uh, at that time. It was like another time, another world. It was one of those things that I really wanted so bad. And at that time, my budget just wasn't there to build like a super premium frame. Over the years, I have checked out a few of his frames. I recently reviewed the FPV Flight Club Vanny style um, DJI build with the Vanover motors. Um, such an awesome design. Uh, Mike pioneered the use of these metal, um, you would call them nucleus plates. They're kind of a center milled aluminum uh, mid plate that you can have a nice color. You can see it's a, a nice, uh, add a nice blue on here that holds the arm in place and it actually has threaded inserts. That really makes a nice uh, middle plate in there to get you that arm sandwich and not have to add press nuts to it. Um, he started that off with the neutron and proton frames that I also reviewed on the channel here. And so I was very fortunate enough to meet Mike last year at the big Texas DRL style long race. And uh, it was cool meeting him, man. We're, there was one point where we're all having lunch and we're all sitting in a, in a table at, at Neil's uh, you know, ranch, his dad's ranch and everyone's eating hot dogs and stuff. We're taking a break from racing and people are kind of laughing, saying something about my channel and the sales alerts group. And I'm just like looking over at Mike and I'm like, this dude's channel is way bigger than mine. And like his soldering tutorial video alone has like a million views, more than my entire channel. Um, so <laughs> that was, uh, it was cool to meet him and I can totally understand it's really sad to see them go. So if you ever flew one of these FPV flight clubs or you just wanted one like I did, you might be able to go snag one up for a good price right now. I ordered one of the shirts from the website just because it's such an awesome design. It's like the Brad Pitt from Fight Club with like FPV goggles on. I just, all, Fight Club's one of my favorite movies of all time and one of my favorite novels of all time. And whenever, I remember in the videos, he would turn on his radio and he had the, he had the sound, uh, welcome to Fight Club, but it, you know, it would sound like welcome to Fight Club, like it was so cool. Um, so we'll definitely miss those guys. Hopefully, um, all the other companies that we know and love will be able to keep surviving. It's really a, a hard economic time for everyone. So put in the comments if you ever flow one of those guys, let me know down below. Um, let's all wish them the best. Thanks, guys.